Okay, so let's look at these interesting questions. San Andreas, what will happen to California if San Andreas fault breaks? Will California sink into the ocean? Will it affect states around it like, for example, Arizona? So if we just look at the plate tectonic history of Western North America, we can see what the San Andreas fault is, and then that'll help us understand what can happen. So here in this video, we see that it, we had a subduction zone off of Western North America until right about now when we start to basically form the San Andreas and we have this lateral motion that shears the plate boundary and stretches Western North America and the San Andreas forms. And that's what's right in this zone here. Let's watch it again. So San Andreas begins now. And then as we grow the San Andreas, we see the sort of tearing and shearing of Western North America and stretching of the interior. So what's important then as you watch this is to see the time scale. So this is millions of years on the right. And what you can see is that it's not going that fast. So the next earthquake is just going to move it to the northwest by a tiny bit. And it's really in another five or 10 million years, we'd have the Gulf of Mexico, or sorry, the Gulf of California would spread enough that we might start to have the Gulf get closer to Western Arizona. And also we always, I always think, you know, you could say that uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers could play the Oakland A's in a freeway world series, but it's gonna be in then about 10 million years. Here's just a little bit more information about the San Andreas. You can see it's tipped on, the California's tipped on its side. These two black markers show uh, blocks of rock that used to be con uh, con contiguous 24 million years ago. And so this western side has been sheared along uh, the fault by 320 kilometers. But we see also at intermediate time scales, like at 10, 10 or 13,000 years, we see this offset stream channel uh, showing this continued motion and localization. And then this uh, shearing of the of California is even shown in GPS measurements, which show these little dots show um, the sort of tearing of, of Western North America over the last 10 years or so. And then the question was, what would happen in the next big earthquake on the San Andreas? And this is the last big one, which was in 1857. And these uh, Roman numerals kind of give a sense of what was felt. So it was felt, obviously, in California, but it was barely felt in Arizona. And we, we, when we do have big earthquakes in California, especially if they're a little further east, like last summer, 4th of July, we had a magnitude 7 here in the Mojave Desert. That was felt very lightly in uh, Phoenix. 